In early 2024, I uploaded a video that showed a workaround for adding an undo button to the Gboard application. That process required you to switch to a different language within the app. However, recently, Google has added an undo option without needing to hassle with all of that. Sadly, this feature has not rolled out to the stable build of the application, at least as of recording this video. I suspect this will arrive to the stable release in a future update, but it's currently unclear when that will happen, although some have said it could be happening within the next few weeks. So, if you're wanting to use the undo button within the Gboard keyboard application right now, then you'll need to opt into the beta or at least sideload it from a website like APK Mirror. So I have version 14.9.06 of the beta installed. And with that said, I have this version installed on two different devices, but only one of them has the undo button available. And that leads me to believe this rollout is happening via a server side update and that Google is in the process of expanding access right now. We can't force this server side update to happen. So your best bet is to opt into the beta through the Gboard keyboard application page of the Google Play Store, or you can sideload it manually and then check to see if that undo button is available. Once you are on this version of the Gboard application or later, you can check to see if that undo button is accessible by first bringing up the keyboard and then tapping on this four square icon right here. Then you'll want to scroll through this list of buttons and look for one labeled undo. If it's there, you can tap it and then tap it again and again and again and again and again. Or you can drag that button to the top here so that you always have access to that undo button from within this menu. And that's all there is to it. Google has finally added a proper undo button to the Gboard application, something that people have been begging for them to do for years now. With that said, I do understand that not everyone is going to want to install the beta version of the Gboard application. And on top of that, there are going to be many people who update to the beta, but still don't have access to that undo button. So, if that ends up being the case for you, then you may find the previous video I did on the subject to be useful to you. And I'll be sure to have that linked in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment, so that it's easy for everyone to find. At least people have a way to access the feature if an undo button has yet to roll out to their daily driver. And it's a good idea to check for this button about once a day to see if it has finally rolled out to your device. Google has a history of ramping up these rollouts as time goes on, so you may end up getting it quicker than you would expect. Let me know if you're happy that Google has finally added this simple feature to their keyboard application. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.